Good morning, guys. Uh, in Ehrenberg, if you haven't seen previous videos, that is over by the Colorado-Arizona border. Uh, I've been hanging out with the nicest dude named Badge and um, his wife Elle and their dog Patch. Uh, <laughs> just to give you up, get you up to speed, um, Badge is a mechanic. We've been fixing tons of stuff. Right here, this is a new steering wheel with cruise control. All right, so let me go through how I make one of these uh, shakes in the morning. Um, <laughs> by the way, this thing is a little bit too powerful for the bus. I have the alternator running. The bus is running right now. This thing draws like 1.3 kilowatts. So the first step, it's a touchscreen, so you got to hit the power on. And it's too powerful. Well, I guess I'll just show you. So if I hit the plus, which is high, it'll just turn off. See what I'm saying? All right, so this is what I do. Since it's already blended once through, whoops, hang on, there we go. Since uh, it's already blended once through, so I just hit the minus button on here like several times. All right, here's uh, try number two. Wow, surprisingly, it only took two tries. Um, once it starts blending, I hit the plus. There you go, you get the idea. Uh, sometimes it takes up to like 10 tries, depending on how much stuff I put in there, especially if there's frozen berries. It has an initial power surge right off the bat, and uh, little Dan just can't keep up with it. <laughs> I know somebody is thinking, what did you put in there? Well, it's a peanut butter, banana, kale, protein powder smoothie with uh, like 20 something ounces of water. And I should mention there's chia seeds, flax, um, almond meal, and uh, the protein is made out of uh, hemp and kale, and it's all mixed together. Got something on my face? Today's the day we're putting this uh, new old steering wheel with uh, these fancy cruise control buttons in Dan the Adventure Bus with the help of a uh, badge right here. This uh, is not the same switch there, but Badge thinks we can uh, replace this part with that part because these connectors, as you can see, are different. So hoping that, because this part goes into there and that part wouldn't go into here. So hopefully we can swap out. It seems to be a lot of the same components. This is out of a newer bus if you saw uh, the previous video when I went to the junkyard. and um, But most of the stuff is, is all the same in the Ford front end. Here's the moment of truth. Oh shit, Jax, it fits! <laughs> success! Shit, man, it fits! <laughs> Great success! It fits, Jax! <laughs> Alright, so in order to get one of these plugs off of the blinker, you have to remove two torque screws right here. <laughs> the blinker is different, so it's not going to work out. I don't know where I put the other blinker. Multifunction switch. Multifunction switch is, yeah. uh, has different plug, uh, male and female. So I'm gonna have to go to a different junkyard and get the proper uh, blinker based on the year. The 2006, 2004 and up is different than uh, 2003 and, and older. Yeah. Close but no cigar. No cigar. But this one here, just go get a new one. Okay. Because it's just a multifunction switch, right? Right. See how it goes out? Yep. Push it out? Yeah. It is wired. For what? Uh, cruise control. Yeah? Yeah, it's right here. Interesting. Wires right here. Yeah, yeah, that's that little clip, right? Yeah. Come together. Alright, what's the prognosis so far, Badge? Everything looking good? Yeah. The only thing we're losing is a turn signal thing, right? Yep. Which is no big deal. No we big deal. We upgrade them all the time. Yeah. Okay, so now all we have to do is pull the steering wheel down. This here these two bolts and you see how they go they yeah and we have to get this we have to drop it down and then get the shifter out right because the shifter comes through here like um here right through here uh-huh yeah we gotta get that out of the way okay so other than that we got her good she's good all right so one other thing was happening with uh with uh, dan the adventure bus there's a lot of play right here and 
I thought to myself, you know, this thing could be messed up or whatever. That just pointed out that you just unscrew these and these, and there are bushings in there that you just snap on. So um, that's why there's a little play. Nothing wrong with the transmission or anything, just the bushing shifters, shifter bushings. Something to mention. <laughs> The steering wheel goes left from center three times and right from center three times. So if you don't know where it is, go all the way to the right and then count the revolutions to the left and then take it back to the middle. That's it. Max, what are you going to do, man? I don't know. Look wow, at that. I get to start it with my key again. Holy shit. It's like going downtown. Wow, it's like Christmas. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we have a... Uh, so this is slightly tighter than the last one. The last well, one was all over the place. Um, so we have this uh, wired back together. I helped out. Um, it, it's kind of easy once you have the same terminals. You just plug everything back together. A little bit kind of complicated to explain, but um, if, once you take one off, you can put it back together. I just want to make sure this, this wheel should straighten out. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, okay. More ways yeah work. those are working. Well, the blinker, yeah, it's it's okay. from the old blinker, so, anyways. Um, the only thing we got is a blinker that you said was an issue, right? Yeah. So you're gonna get another blinker. Yeah. And then um, that's not that's just two screws, right? Yeah, two screws. And then we're gonna modify it. We'll and then it and then if I really want to, I can get those bushings and, and fix the the wiggle issue but I, I think this is better than the last well, one not, and as I long as I don't know if you'll notice it yeah as long as I know that it's not a transmission problem I'm okay with a, a floppy uh, shifter yeah. Yeah. we can tighten it up if you want we'll all just right. take it off and make some bushings of the uh, oil cans or something cool all right let's have a coffee break okay <laughs> is this these clips are broke right so what we're gonna do is you're just gonna see that's it oh. uh-huh so we'll just put a wire tie on there and hold that. Okay. Just to be safe. All right. I don't want that fucking thing coming off when you're going down the road. Yep, me neither. And then we'll take all this shit and tie it up out of the way. We actually ended up fixing a problem which I had when I would drive. All of a sudden that annoying ding would go on. And it turns out the inside lock cylinder thing was busted. That part right here. This is broken. So we took the sleeve off and we put it on. So we now fix that. Everything's back together here with the steering wheel. Uh, the I'm using my original blinker because, like I said, it wouldn't fit in with the other um, with the new blinker. And now we are playing with the auxiliary fan. That is for the rear AC blower. That is that thing right up there on the ceiling. So the the old switch with all these. Uh, I don't know, diodes or whatever they're called, they were all busted and spinning around. So, I got this piece right here, this indac piece. This is the original uh, knob and everything. So we're, we're trying to figure out, we're trying to figure out, there's no label here. We're trying to figure out low, medium, high, and uh, off and on and stuff. So anyways, <laughs> that's it's, it's been challenging. So what do you guys think? Everything works. Oh, Low, medium, high. This thing works. Horn works. This doesn't move as much. Badge is a man. <laughs> Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. All right, everything with the steering wheel is all buttoned up, but we got the uh, Energizer Bunny badge over here. He's, whoop. What's that? We're playing with the uh, the internal fan right now because the switch isn't working. So I don't know what the heck he's doing. I put 12 volts to it, right? I got a uh, it's called a power probe, right? Yep. And I can put power right directly to the motor, and it don't sound very good, does it? I don't. Well, I oh, think, that I noise is uh, the motor. I think the motor is gone, ski. Okay, so how would I replace that? Right there. Myself. I'm gonna just take the, this battery box out. And, the bolts, yeah. and then just swap yeah. it in. I don't think that's been a that's not a new one. 
<laughs> no, this is uh, 15 years old. So we put that there on one side, and then we put the power so put, to the other. So he's trying to clip on the negative. And we'll put that there. All right, that's on. Uh, and then we put the positive. This is, and then we push this button, right? And yep. that push 12 volts to it. So that sounds like a weak motor, huh? Let's go see how much it's pushing out the van. Okay. Hardly anything. All right. So there's there's basically no air coming out. See the heater switch and melted right away. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Totally, eh? Yeah. That's uh, the problem is uh, right there. a bad See heater a switch. Yeah. Yep. Bad heater switch. You're a bad heater switch. Bad heater switch. <laughs> bad heater switch. Way to go, Badge. Man, you're just full bad of tricks, man. Switch. You're the best dude ever. Yeah, that one, yeah, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I love this guy. He's so funny. There's your guilty bastard right there. Uh huh. So there is, whoa, the whole backside is all smoked. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yeah. See, it's all smoked here. And then it's melted right through here. Yeah. That should be like that. And it's melted right through. Interesting. So let's, uh, I'm going to call the parts store and see if they have this. Hopefully they do. I would imagine they do. Watch this. Long day? I think long video. We're going to go uh, out to eat somewhere. Maybe the pizza place, maybe not. I just want to thank this dude for all of his know how. Hang on, you can't even see him yet. For all of his know how, generosity, kindness, friendliness, and um, all, the above. all the above, and a cute dog. And a dog. So, dude, seriously, I don't even know how to repay you or thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, we'll do a tour of uh, his rig in another video, but we'll also get to chat with him about why he's living out here on the mobile life.